So I was experiencing an issue and then someone else, uh, I, I can't share his name. I, I didn't ask him if I can share his name, but he, he called me. Um, he booked a Zoom call with me so we can do some troubleshooting. And this is what I found out. So if you guys are using a DSLR camera and you have it connected to your iPad and you're gonna be using your DSLR camera for the event as the main camera to take photos and videos, there's one thing that I was getting and I'm gonna show you exactly how it looked. So if you guys are experience, experiencing this issue, I hope, I hope that this video is gonna save you the headache. So here, I'm gonna put it in 4K. Okay, so it's 4K. All right, sweet. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and back out of here. It's set to the Canon R7. I'm gonna to go to Start Booth. I'm gonna to go to Image. These settings are okay given the amount of light I have right now. And I'm gonna to go to Start Booth. And then I'm gonna to go to Video, okay? And then on the video, when I go to Next right over here, it shows my favorite cup right and then it shows my fingers i'm gonna i want to see walk all right before i start see walking i'm gonna hit start right over here it's gonna give me the countdown on the ipad i'm gonna start see walking with my little fingers right here do your thing do your dance yeah 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 and then it's only gonna take a few more seconds do the moonwalk day do the moonwalk oh 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 all right so it's adding the video and then it's gonna render Just wait a few more seconds, guys. And this is one thing I love about Snapic. I was able to get on the on, on the text message icon to chat with them. And right now, my time is 10:30 p.m. and they were there to help me, guys. So that's what I that's what I need. I need technical support to always be there for me. Because what if I was at an event? So this is another reason why I decide to continue working with Snapic. All right. So as you guys can see, the video was black. And it took me forever to figure this out. But like I said, once I got a hold of Snapic, I realized that what I was doing is because when I was setting up this video, and I'm going to show you guys here, when I was setting up the template, the template is set to 1080 by 1920, right? So if you go here, as you guys can see, it's set up by 19, 1920 by 1080. So the camera, you have to go to your video settings first, right? Switch it over to video. I use manual. And then you go into your menu and you have to remove the 4K, okay? So the 4K is not the right size. We gotta go to full HD, like that. All right, so now that we're on a full HD, we can either do 59 frames per second or 29 frames per second. I like 59 because it looks crazy smooth. So I'm gonna hit okay. Then I'm gonna hit okay again, right? And then I'm gonna switch over back to the camera. By the way, if you guys have it in camera mode, It'll automatically switch over to video when it records a video while the application is live. But I'm gonna to go to menu, and for uh, the movie recording size, it's still the same. All right, just wanted to show you guys that. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to tap to finish, right? Because the video didn't come out properly, and all we're gonna do is hit video again and select a template. So this time I'm gonna go ahead and select. I'm gonna select the same one just to make this video a little bit faster. So it's initiating the camera. There's my cup again. This time I'm gonna, I'm gonna break, I'm gonna do the moonwalk. So let's go ahead and hit start. It's gonna give us the countdown. Okay. All right, so we're gonna start doing the moonwalk here, just like that. All right, and then we're gonna, oh, oh, what's up? Yeah. All right. So now it's gonna add the video and then it's gonna go into the rendering process. And so once we enter the rendering process with the M1 chip right here, it's only gonna take about seven seconds or less. Well, you guys can see for yourselves. And now we are back. Now the video is functioning like it's supposed to. And that's the solution right there, guys. If this video helped you, please like the video. I hope I can continue making a positive difference in your life. Take care.